Um, yeah, so uh, um, Teo, Teo sent me the screenplay of Ulysses Gaze. I read it and I wanted to do the movie based upon the script alone. Uh, but Teo insisted on coming to New York. She wanted to show me one of his movies because I had never seen one. I said, it's not necessary, you know. But he insisted. So I said, okay. So he came to New York, came up to my loft, and I was sitting there with my business partner at the time, lady. And Taya was there, we're like where you are now, and the TV screen was over here, where Custis is now. And um, he puts on the film. I'm sitting on the couch, and the film starts. And um, I'm watching, and I, I fall asleep. And I felt the elbow going to me, my arm. I woke, I woke up, I jolted up. My partner had, you know. And I looked over, and there was Teo, sitting where you are, with a huge smile on his face, looking at me. And I said, I'll do the movie. And he just kept smiling. And that was it. For me, Teo was like Homer. His talent was huge. His talent was so intense, so deep, so profound. Yes, he liked long takes and long scenes in the edit of the, of the, of the uh, movie. When I first came to Greece, people told me, you know the joke about Teo, don't you? I said, no, what? He said, a Teo Angelopoulos movie, you go to the cinema, you sit down, the scene comes up, the scene begins, you watch, you watch, you get up, you go, you buy a bag of popcorn and a Coca-Cola, you come back, you sit down, you start to eat, and the same scene is still on. <laughs> I thought they were joking. But then I found out that that was Teo Angelopoulos, but he's, he's one, of, one of the great f filmmakers that ever lived. It was a great journey. I mean, any, any task worthwhile has its difficult difficulties. And certainly Ulysses Gaze had them, but that was part of the beauty of the journey. Throughout the Balkans and Macedonia and Albania, Greece and um, uh, Croatia, uh, every place that we went, uh, there were very trying times. Sometimes danger, a lot of fun, hardship, freezing, um, in, in, in one city, we had to watch out for, for landmines. We were told to just keep out of the rubble. It's the scene in the movie. I forget the name of the uh, city that was shelled by the um, Ser Serbians. But there's a scene in the movie in a theater without a ceiling that was bomb bombed out. And that's the city mm -hmm. it took place in. I don't remember the name now. Um, and we had to keep off the, um, the uh, rubble because mm -hmm. there were the landmines around. Teo's creativity is giant. And that's compelling in its own self. The size of his talent. I, 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 I quipped earlier that with Teo's death, Mount Olympus will never be the same again. For me, that's how powerful he was as, a, as an artist. We need Hollywood, for instance. Do we agree with everything Hollywood does? No. But does Hollywood do some great things? Yes. yes. They're not our enemy. It's just that culturally, some people like to read a book and value Pope poetry, um, value the Greek culture that gave birth to the world, one might say, and others don't. I've read a lot of Greek mythology and uh, the Greek poets. I just can't always place the names and with the, with the piece, but I've read a lot uh, of it. And um, um, I mean, around the world, people um, have to bow down to the culture of Greece. I mean, we, we need it. We need it. It's very sad for me <clears throat> what's happening in Greece now. Um, this great culture that we all admire so much and uh, that feeds us, nourishes us so deeply. The analysis of the text is the education of the actor. Uh, that's always been a battle cry for me. It's just those things that help my life move forward that I desire to be a part of, that I seek to be a part of.
as so many people do. I mean, you Greeks have a large audience. Might not always appear in cinema or in the theater for that matter, but it's there, it's present. We just need more people to, to, um, to lie down with, uh, what's her name? Sappho? Sappho. Sappho. I hope she's not angry at me for saying that. No. <laughs> <laughs> right, on the contrary. <laughs>